Well, it's that time of week for what I might feel is my favorite video that I get to do, and that is the Wacky Wild Wednesday Q&A edition. Now, I do a wrestling Q&A on Monday. You can tweet your questions at OTR Central for that one. Friday, I do the Facebook Friday Q&A. Go to the OTRS Central Facebook page and post your questions there when I prompt you for them. But Wednesday, you tweet them to OTRS Central, and we have some fucking fun. Wrestling, non-wrestling, doesn't matter. But the whole purpose of this is to be off the wall, wild, wacky, crazy, and like I said, have some fun. So let's see what type of fun you guys drew up for me this week. You usually do a good job with this, and hopefully you followed suit. I haven't pre-screened any of this crap, so I'm going to go through and sort through the best ones. Cyanide Rain asked, did Chris Benoit do the greatest face turn ever when he was tied up against the weight machine? <laughs> Maybe it was a real head turner? Maybe when that sick son of a bitch was applying that choke move allegedly to his son, that would be classified as the greatest face turn of all time? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> just bad. See, if you're not familiar, these are the type of questions I want for the Wednesday Q&A. Uh, Keith W.E. Berart. Weberart? Sure, whatever. Uh, you said 1997 is your favorite year in WWE. One of my favorites. One of my favorites. Let's get that clear. One of my favorites. Is it because Shid shat his, Sid shat his pants at WrestleMania 13? <laughs> Cause you never know now. <laughs> Michael Corfin, do you think Arn Anderson and Sid Vicious have panic attacks when either of them sees a pair of scissors? <laughs> Probably Arn. <laughs> uh, good boy EOB, if you and your missus ever did a porn video scenario fantasy, what would it be? Oh, let's see. What's the most offensive thing I can think of? Maybe Thomas Jefferson, Sally Hemings. <laughs> Hopefully she doesn't hear that. <laughs> David Hads. If the Miz committed suicide in the middle of the ring, would Damien Mizdow do the same? He is the stunt double. You know, apparently instead of doing the stuff for him, he just mimics him after he does it. Some type of stunt double. <laughs> Good boy, he'll be in this handicap match. Who would win, the Incredible Hulk and Superman or Mama Schlegel? Um, if Hulk and Superman were both portrayed by black men, then, uh, Thunder Thighs would reign supreme, as she would say, God, what did she used to say? <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get a hold of him with my thighs, make it clap like thunder, and he'll crap lightning. <laughs> Anyways. Zero zero five classics. Does Kevin Dunn pour ranch on Vince's carrot dick before sucking on it, or does he prefer the sauce that comes out after? Yes, both are relatively tasty. Now that's sports entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> You'll notice some trends here. There's a lot of Sid questions, a lot of Dino Bravo questions, a lot of Kevin Dunn questions. I love them. You can keep them coming, but let's try to branch out at least a little bit, please. Uh, good boy EOB is Kevin Dunn's birthday wish. Uh, Mr. McMahon in a bunny suit singing happy birthday to him while giving him the carrot. <laughs> Probably one of them. <laughs> Duke THS. Jerry Lawler and Ric Flair walk into a high school. What happens next? Flair gets arrested for, <laughs> for, for selling alcohol to minors or providing it to minors. And Lawler finds his next ex-wife and uh, another statutory rape case in the process. Duke THS also wants to know when Dusty Rhodes comes, would it be considered a dusty finish? <laughs> Especially if it was like coming all from different angles and all over the place, I guess it would be. <laughs> I don't know. I guess you would call it sweet dreams. I don't know. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Buried by God, how funny would it be if Cena went on the top rope to hit the leg drop and Psycho sits the shit out of his leg? Oh, it would be funny, but see, you have to understand, when it comes to Sid, it's not just about the leg break, it's about the individual and the story heading into Sid in 2009. All factors in that, all matters. Uh, let's see your shiny stick. Can we expect Pat Patterson as the boogeyman where he's the boogeyman and he's coming out to loop you? <laughs> I'm KY man. <laughs> shiny stick also wants to know, do you think Vincent Pat told Cesaro to shave his head so they could find the best dickhead in the business? <laughs> Fuck no, stranger shit has happened. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Luis Roulette, do you think CM Punk bitches about his sore back and quits when AJ Lee is on top? <laughs> Probably does, especially when she starts saying, call me Lita. <laughs> oh, God. Or Maria. <laughs> but especially Lita. <laughs> I want to be just like you when I grow up and touch the dick that you've touched. <laughs> <laughs> if, what's the next one? This is stupid because it is. That's good. Seek you for the life. If Cena, Triple H, and Orton fought with brawling buddies for control of WWE Studios, what's the name of the next DVD? <laughs> the Breakfast Brawlers. <laughs> oh, here's a good one. Fuck you. Mr. CM Punk 434. Why can't I subscribe to the OTRS newsletter anymore for only $9.99 a year? Because you decided that you would rather give $9.99 a month to the WWE Network. <laughs> the fucking newsletter. What a piece of shit. What a dumb idea. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I am PT underscore three. How would this relay team do in the Olympics? Torn quads, Vince, Sid Carr, Greg Odin, and Sid. <laughs> hey, Greg Odin, come. What the fuck is Greg Odin going to do? <laughs> if you're going to throw a non wrestler, they're fucking bringing Sam Bowie or some shit, or Sam Bradford, or maybe Oscar Pistorius. So at least he's missing both of his fucking bottom portions of his legs and he kills people. I don't know. <laughs> it would be a comedy of errors. <laughs> Matt Mefe, too. D did you celebrate Dino Bravo's death with a Swiss cheese sandwich? <laughs> I think when he when I when he passed away or was killed, I was like twelve, so I really didn't care that much. It was over the years. It has evolved and become what it does. I don't know if I would say I would celebrate with the Swiss cheese sandwich, but when I eat Swiss cheese, I'm reminded of Dino Bravo. Why? Bang bang, because he's dead. <laughs> Here's another Tito Bravo fucking question. Larkin underscore. What has more holes? The whole Divas roster or Dino Bravo? <laughs> uh, God, uh, Divas roster. Let's see here. Uh, Zenya underscore B37. Would you rather watch Sid's heel turn or see the bunny tear both his quads turkey? Turkey. <laughs> it's a turkey. Fuck is turkey. I guess it's not our Thanksgiving. You're instead of twerking, you're turkin' turkin'. What the fuck? <laughs> um, always got to go with Sid's heel turn, man. It is really hard to pick against that. Uh, Zenia B underscore B37. Fuck, Mary kill. Jillian Hall, Paige, or Vince McMahon's quads. <laughs> I guess you have to fuck Vince Squats, marry Jillian Hall, and kill Paige. I don't know. There's just no winning solution here. Uh, Starry Nights 36, fuck Mary Kill, Nancy Grace, Oprah, and Sarah Palin. Oh, Sarah Palin gets in the fuck category. It needs to go right in her butthole. Uh, Oprah has the most money, so as a result, she has the most redeeming qualities to me, so therefore she would be the Mary, and then Nancy Grace, she already get the idea, she serves no purpose and just wastes space. Mr. Pio 1, would you eat 150 grams of shit, or have anal sex with China with no condoms the three hours straight, 
since she might shit. I will take the threat or possibility of shit on my dick as opposed to the guarantee of 150 grams of shit in my mouth. Because just because she might shit on that dick doesn't mean that she actually would. And even if she did, that didn't necessarily mean that shit got into my mouth from my dick. Because if it did, we got a problem here. So, I go with the second alternative, as bad as that sounds. Oh, uh, let's see here. The Den Sidron, does Taker put Michelle McCool in the tombstone when they get freaky and does he let her know when by dropping her down? <laughs> he's probably so broken down physically. He just sits there and he's like, nah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about this. <laughs> P.W. Rosa, oh god, now he's getting into the Dino Bravo sweet states. Do you think Dino Bravo's dick was the first to be shot off when he got turned into Swiss cheese? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. See what I've done? I've warped so many of you with the Dino Bravo crap. It's terrible. It really, truly is. Um, let's see here. Uh, Steven Badesa. Pancakes, pancakes or waffles? <laughs> no, these are not good questions. This, 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 this is Jim Brown who's asking me pancakes or waffles. <laughs> Fucking awesome. See, that's why I love this shit. I never know what's coming. Uh, scrambled eggs and bacon. Yeah. WWE 961. How big's your dick, Jeff? Why the fuck do you want to know? I'll put it to you this way. It's more than plenty enough to get the job done. You can rock some of the sides of the boat. You can rock some of the bottom of the boat. That's all I'm saying. I'm not going to call myself Ding Dong Donkey Dick here, but... I'm not hurting that category. I'll put it that way. All right. Twins of Sanity. What if Mr. McMahon and Kevin Nash team together and call themselves the Quad Busters? How awesome would that be? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be great because they'd always get injured and they never have to fucking wrestle. You'd always want them to fucking wrestle and then they always get hurt before they actually got the fucking wrestle. Oh my god. Oh, uh, let's see here. Carter Comics won. Abed Johnson versus Scott Steiner versus Sid in a verbal battle. Who would stumble over their words first? Me to describe the sheer awesomeness of what the fuck would be going on here. And hopefully I'd get some assistance from Jumpin' Jet Farm. <laughs> <laughs> Hassan Schauke, would you rather have no legs and arms or no dick? I'd rather have no legs and arms. Because what good it would be to have arms and legs, I wouldn't be able to fuck a girl with my peepees. Or that would make me a woman. I certainly wouldn't want to be that. And, you know, with it having the no dick part, so, you know, you could fuck without having arms or legs. You can't fuck with your penis if you don't have one. The Owens, be honest, would you suck black cock for a million dollars mailed to you weekly? Because no. That's not worth $52 million a year. The other people choose to live their lifestyle, that's fine. They can do whatever they want. It is of no consequence to me. However, for my life... I love black pussy, not black peepees. Couldn't live with myself. Furthermore, with that being said, even at million dollars a week, I still mean I suck the guy's cock. No thank you. I'm good. You want to do that? Find you a rich black man, maybe an in-the-closet former athlete, and knock the fucking self out. Have him knock the sidewalls out of your mouth cheeks or something. I don't fucking know. Anyways... Thank you guys for submitting your questions for this Q&A. This was fun again. Let's try and branch out next time maybe. And find some new material besides just Dino Bravo, Sid, Vince tearing his quads, Kevin Dunn. I'm going to implore you. I'm going to say it. And then you guys will come right back for more shit. That's why I love you guys. <laughs> See you later.